Hey everybody, it's July 6th and I want to do an update on my little strawberry cracky tote. And as you can see in the picture, last May, or this May, whatever you want to call it, um, the deer just completely uh, had a little feast on my strawberry plant. So I didn't have them protected. So back to square one almost. Well, it didn't kill the plants, but it definitely slowed down the strawberry production, but end up with a few before uh, the deer got to them. So basically what uh, what I am doing, I end up putting a little cage around there, a little fence cage to keep the deer out, and that seemed to be working pretty good now. But I did end up with a couple of uh, strawberry runners, so I'm going to show you what I kind of did with that. Well, last summer Brock Hughes and Slee Stacks were all, uh, they both came out with videos on uh, starting strawberry runners and uh, Slee Stack he did his in rock wool and Brock did his in uh, coconut core and also perlite I believe both really good videos and they so I just combined both the both their ideas and wrapped around the ziploc bag and uh, gave her a shot well here's a not very good view of what the roots look like back then but I actually ended up clipping the the ends of the roots but uh, really brown really slimy I just never really took care of it, didn't do any water changes, just kind of wanted to see uh, how it would play out. But uh, so far, uh, it seems to be uh, really hanging in there. And surprisingly, and the roots look really horrible. Well, when you bust out the camera, it seems like the kittens always want to come out and check stuff out. So, all right, so I dragged the toad out and I'm getting ready to get one little close inspection. But the plants look really good, really healthy, so I have no idea what the roots look like yet. So we'll bust her open and take a look. Well, say bye bye, Mama. And there she goes. So I'm taking a close exam, close uh, look at the roots here. So hang on a second. Of course, there's another kitten. As you can see, uh, the roots really didn't uh, take off very well, so I was pretty surprised how small the, or how little the roots were. Well, next I'm just going to transplant them in cocoa core, kind of throw them off to the side somewhere and see how they do, and I'll use them in the hydroponic setup uh, next this time. Come come this time next year. And here's the other side. If you look close enough, you can see a little copper wire that actually held the um, the runner to the cube, and that actually worked pretty good. And I think sleeve stacks roll. He used a paper clip, and both really good ideas. And you can see, I'm finally starting to get some. Uh, Strawberries coming in again. The plants are looking really healthy, and of course, I got my kids yelling in the background. So sorry about that. But overall, for the neglect I've been doing, giving this thing, uh, it's doing really, really well. The plants seem to really uh, rebound after getting munched on by the deer. You see, I'm getting some pretty good uh, flower growth, and plants overall look really healthy for what little attention and care I've given them. You can see the roots here just look uh, look really awful. The outside roots are the newer roots, and they look really good. You can see the water just uh, absolutely nasty. I probably haven't changed the water out in a good month or two. Okay, what's this? Well, as you can tell, these two kittens have not watched the Rocky yeah. show because they're definitely you come not get being it? a kind of each other. But, uh, look at that. I've got a nice little surprise. That big one or a little one? My little garden helper. It's my daughter Claire. I'm going to get it for you. And uh, she oh, loves that. these strawberries. So she's going to be our uh, quality control today. I started this experiment about four months ago, and then like that just kind of wanted to see, do a little test and see how these strawberries would do in the cracking methods. But so far, uh, they've done really well. I've done yeah, maybe me? one or two, at the most, water changes. Yeah. And if a person uh, decided to do something like this and, and changed out the water, probably every, at the very least, once it, or uh, I'd probably recommend once every two weeks, and preferably probably once a week. Um, I think you'd have really good um, really good plant growth uh, the roots are really suffering by um, not changing the water like um, regularly I guess you'd say 